Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. Let me state it up front. I love keyboard shortcuts. I believe that keyboard shortcuts save me time and help me to be more productive when I'm working inside Excel. So this begins a series of video tutorials where I will demonstrate how to use keyboard shortcuts to perform specific tasks in Excel. Today the focus is on using keyboard shortcuts to perform basic file operations. Now this is particularly important if you have recently upgraded to either Excel 2007 or Excel 2010. However the keyboard shortcuts that I'm going to demonstrate work in all versions of Excel. So for example if you're still using Excel 2003 these keyboard shortcuts will work when you want to perform basic file operations which we usually find on the file menu if we've been using Excel for a while. So the keyboard shortcut control N will open up a brand new blank Excel workbook. The keyboard shortcut control O will open up a dialog box where we can locate and open up an existing document. It could be an Excel workbook or it could be a different type of file. Funny enough, there is a keyboard shortcut to close the active workbook. It's control W and we can use control s when we want to save the active workbook now i like to call these the nows keyboard shortcuts let me come back here to my chart over here so in excel 2007 over here i have a little chart that i've used for this lesson nows n o w s control n control o control w control w control s open a brand new blank workbook open an existing workbook or other type of file close the active workbook, save the active workbook. We also have the ability to use a keyboard shortcut F12 when we want to save the active workbook to a different location, give it a different name, or save it as a different type. And when it comes time to closing down at the end of the day or before we take a lunch break, Alt F4 will exit the Excel application. Now I have found that these keyboard shortcuts will work in every program in the Office Suite and they will work in almost any uh, Windows program that I've ever come across. Another common keyboard shortcut that will work in almost every program is Control P when we want to print the active worksheet or if we've selected more than one worksheets, the active worksheets. I love this keyboard shortcut, which I rarely see listed. So let me come back here to Excel 2003, click the File menu. So while we have the keyboard shortcut Control P to print the active workbook, when we want to have a print preview, Control plus Function 2. So Control plus Function 2 will open up a print preview. Now let me show you that back here in Excel 2007. Control plus Function 2 now I'm in print preview and if I don't want to use my mouse to close it just press the escape key now if we have another workbook open we can use this keyboard shortcut to cycle back and forth between all of the open workbooks within the version of Excel so let's use control N to open up a brand new blank work book in Excel 2007. Control tab allows me to cycle between the open workbook. So let me open up another one. Now I have three open workbooks. Control tab, Control tab, Control tab. If I want to close this blank workbook, Control W. If I want to cycle through to the other one, Control W, and it closes. So you see I save a lot of time. Now let me give you reasons why you would want to come up here to open or activate some other options for files. So in Excel 2007, many people really have the hardest time when they open up a, a document in Excel 2007. So you think, Danny, how do I print the darn thing? How do I exit Excel? Well, we go over here to the Office button, this funny little icon in the upper left Corner. So in Excel 2007, when you come over here and click on the Office button, 
I save a lot of time when I use Control N to open up a brand new blank document, but what if I wanted to open up a template? What if I wanted to go out and search for a template? Then I would definitely want to click the Office button and click on the new. But when I want to open up a brand new blank document, Control N is a lot faster than Office button, new, and then new blank workbook why would I want to come in and use the office button or let me switch actually now over to Excel 2010 where the office button has been replaced by a file tab on the uh, on the ribbon and over here when we click open certainly we could go out and search for a document control O will give us that but in Excel 2010, when I come over here and click File, what I like to do rather than open up and search for a document, if I've used it recently, let's take advantage of the recent. So here are my recent workbooks as well as the recent places. In Excel 2007, when I come over here to the Office button, over here to the right, these are recent documents that, uh, that I've uh, open and I actually can pin them you see these little push pins over here when you click on one then it will always be available so you can set your uh, settings in Excel 2007 for up to your last 50 documents but you could also take advantage of pinning a document so that it will always be available when you come to the office button so again that's why I would come over to the office button to open up one of my recent documents that's why in Excel 2010 I would come to the file tab of the ribbon and in backstage view in recent search for my recent documents or to the recent places in Excel 2003 I think you're limited to nine uh, recent documents so when you click on your file here are your, and I've taken the default of four settings but you can I think set it to to nine or something like that now for control w if you I, I just feel the control w will save you so much time to close the active workbook uh, f12 really it opens up the same dialog box as using control o so f12 opens up a very similar document in this case i would change the name or change the file of type but honestly if I use the office button or the um, uh, the file tab in backstage view I really like the file save as options over here for example it tells me click here to save it as a macro or if I want to save it as an Adobe PDF document if I want to email it as a PDF so it's it's a lot easier as well as some other operations which we don't have keyboard shortcuts for so use the menus when necessary but save time with keyboard shortcuts when it's a basic basic daily operation now let me show you two really fantastic keyboard shortcuts if you have Windows Vista or Windows 7 if you hold down the start key on your keyboard which is the key that has the Windows icon you get this really cool dynamic way to cycle between all of the open documents as well as all of the open programs that you have on your computer so here has been the program Windows 7 uh, Excel uh, 2007 that I've been working on but I can open up and come over here by holding down start and tapping the tab key to my Excel uh, 2003 session and let me close this down using the keyboard shortcut alt plus F4 and come back here start come over here into Windows uh, Excel 2007 or come over here and show you how you can download a complete uh, free PDF version of the popular keyboard shortcuts for Excel that I put together five pages and as you can see I've organized it by task now how do you get it several ways now first off if you're not using Windows Vista if you're still using Win, uh, Windows XP hold down the alt key and then tap the tab key so this will it's not as cool as holding down the start key but it will enable you to switch between open documents so on my website www.thecompanyrocks.com in the exclusive membership content area here's how you can get a PDF of the Excel keyboard shortcuts or the word keyboard shortcuts so if you just scroll down and look on my right navigational pane that will take you to that page 
or if you want to send me an email I'm very happy to receive emails from my viewers just come over and send me an email Danny at the company rocks dot com so this gives me an opportunity to point out that I have a lesson on keyboard shortcuts on my DVD the 50 best tips for Excel 2007 it's on the intermediate grouping of uh, lessons that I have over here so these are all video lessons just like these YouTube lessons and you can pick and choose the lesson that you wish and take it when you wish so I hope that you will take advantage of my offer to send you that uh, Adobe PDF and I'll look for you in the next lesson when I demonstrate keyboard shortcuts for a different Excel task